Y'all, did you realize that you can actually give back and do something good by shopping? Well, you can if you're shopping with Bombas because socks, tees, and underwear are the three most requested items in homeless shelters. So when you buy yours from Bombas, you're also giving one to someone who needs it. One item purchased equals one donated. And let me tell you, the ones you purchase, you're going to freaking love. I have been a massive advocate for Bombas socks forever. They are the softest socks. They got sweat wicking uh, technology. So whether you're going on a hike on a hot day or you're just naturally got some sweaty feet, the sweat wicking technology is amazing. I don't feel like I'm clammy in my sneaker. Plus, they give such nice arch support and they're coming in such cute designs these days. I've got, I'm not even kidding, maybe four different types of leopard print and I'm not looking back. So whether you just need some good socks, tees, and underwear or you uh, want to help others who might need the same thing, Bombas is the place you need to try. And Maybe you don't even need it for yourself. Maybe it'd make a really great holiday gift. Bombas gift boxes are filled with cozy goodies. And the best part is they come in a beautiful design box so you don't even have to wrap it, baby. So go to bombas.com slash TMGW and use code TMGW for 20% off your first purchase. This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Well, then cheers, Grace Helbig. Cheers, Avery Hart. Well, well, well. I am sitting here with sports commentator yep. and all-around jock, Yep, Grace Helbig. Semi-professional poker player, Grace Ann Helbig. Yeah, I, um, look, I'm trying to break in hats. Mm-hmm. I, you wear them so effortlessly. I literally went back and forth for all day because i've Are been wearing serious? this all day and i'm like should i just wear this over there she literally wore a hat last week well how does she make it look so easy <laughs> i look like i'm like wearing my dad's like hat because uh something offensive has been written on my head and i need to cover it up quickly. no the thing is with the hat yeah i feel like it's just it's just getting used to it you yeah. know it's like a brand new hairstyle it doesn't look bad it's Thank just you. like different it is different i think you look adorable in a hat thank you it feels great i'm getting used to it. i'm so excited about the hat that was gifted last week i got I'll, it for you i'll bring it home with me today it'll be perfect well yeah. i i think it looks good thank and you. um <laughs> i feel like you should have been a hat person all along because yeah. you love you love a sport wear. You love a sweatshirt. You love, love a crew a- neck. You like to look like Billy Crystal in the 80s. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love a beanie, but why? It's just this bill. Mm. I think I'm getting used to it, feels slightly like I'm boxed in a little bit. Oh. And I got to get used to that feeling. Well, I know you. Which like- is the whole point. <laughs> yeah. You like a weighted eye mask. So yeah. is there a part of you that this feels like? like comfort is this like a little head hug how yeah. you said the other one is like an eye hug yeah yeah this does it's starting to feel a little bit like it's giving a bit of anonymity you know it's the whole point of oh hats. excuse me paparazzi that's why i like the mask situation like even if because i feel like i'm constantly feeling like the neighborhood that we live in i'm gonna run into people that i know or mm-hmm. that i have which i have Disgusting. done Michael Rucker, I've run into oh. you twice at two different stores <laughs> in our neighborhood. Uh, and so now that I'm sporting this hat out, I oh. don't know if it makes me more noticeable or less. No, the thing is about a baseball hat. <laughs> yeah. It's not that. Well, A, I think people look at you less in general. Yeah, like if yeah. You, you, it I, gives the indication that you are not asking yes. to be looked at. Yes, it absolutely. It has like no vacancy sign. Yeah, yeah. Or like I clearly came to this Target. Yep for a distinct list of things yeah not you know because sometimes you know when you're leisurely shopping yeah but when you do that you like want your hair to look cute you want to yeah. see what the whole look will be totally. if you got on a baseball hat you are going there for tide pods yeah and uh, and tampons and tampons i'm not there to make friends no not at all uh-uh. but the good part about a baseball hat is it's less people noticing you and more if you see someone you know you tilt that head yeah you tilt that head yeah. and you are out of there buddy yeah it does feel like i have like a an accessory, to, like a shield on mm-hmm. my head that I can just dip behind pretty quickly. Which Good is job. Very nice. So we're getting into a hats <laughs> era and we're, we're learning to get used to it. I think it's good. Yeah. How have you been? You've been out of town a little bit this weekend. A little bit. I went, I just got back from Phoenix today. Yeah. Um, I only went for three nights, essentially nice. two and a half days. Okay. Speaking of anonymity, I don't know. Did you say anonymity dildo? No, I, I was trying to say anonymity though, yeah. and then my mouth garbled. <laughs> so we're staying. So he's chips there working, and mm-hmm. of course it was wonderful. I brought the beans, oh, and and the beans and the Larry, 
reunion. Oh, I mean, so Bean's going to care less. But Larry's <laughs> very cute. It's adorable. That's but sweet. so my favorite thing is that this hotel was directly beside a Hillstones. Nice. AKA Houston's. Yes, nice. Excellent. AKA Grace's former workplace. That was the last job I had before I worked full time for the internet. That's incredible. Yeah, I got to quit that job to work full time as an artist technically, and that is pretty awesome. I, I worked there for three, three and a half months in New York City. I would have continued working there just for the artichokes. Oh my God. I love a hillstone. It was a it, it was a fancy chilies and I felt intimidated and also um, like I belonged. A weigh-in's brother came in one time and I was like, this place is fancy. <laughs> they gave him the corner booth. Everyone was prepared. Whoa. He, come, he came in often, supposedly. I feel like a Hillstone's has some anonymity. It's a dark restaurant. Oh, yeah. There's like some weird business deals that I feel like go down in Hillstone's. It, the one that I, I worked in was in the basement so of a business building. So oh. when you work the lunch shift, it was just suits, suits, suits in and out within like 30 minutes. You made great money because everyone's wheeling and dealing doesn't have time to sit in but Damn. they was slamming martinis still yeah it's a martini spot yep yeah absolutely but so and i i had a delicious drink with like muddled grapes Ooh. and mint it was fantastic wine <laughs> <laughs> but so yeah, yeah that's what i call it, wine <laughs> muddled grapes um but so we're walking from his hotel over to the hillstones mm -hmm. to get a little sunday lunch Nice. And I'm wearing a jumpsuit that was freshly washed. Okay. So it's just a little bit more snug. Crisp. That and the fact that I just have been eating whatever I want <laughs> sure. and, and not working out. But it was a little more snug. And I also had on a um, pair of panties I'd never worn before. A new thong. Oh, okay. So the wedgie was so deep. Yeah. That like I knew it wasn't, <laughs> I knew it was it had to be an inside job. Yeah, the wedgie was so deep, it was talking about its own childhood. Yeah, exactly. The wedgie was so deep, I didn't understand what it was saying. Uh, it could never go on your podcast. Um, so anyway, we're walking and I'm like, I have to get, just through the parking lot, I'm like, I have to get this wedgie out before we go indoors. Yeah. And I was like, I got to get in there. And so Chip gives a little look around and goes, you're in the clear, right? Great boyfriend behavior. Yeah, and then I put my hand in, underneath, you know, like into my shorts onesie. Okay. To like oh, fully. Oh, shorts. You're yeah. going inside. Okay. Shorts. So it wasn't like it uh, over and under. It yeah. was an under. I've got my hand in my butt and we hear, woo woo. There are two of his co workers on a balcony <laughs> waving at us while my hand is literally holding my thong in my that's, pants. That's not a quick exit strategy either. I, I no, like I had to take my hand out yeah. to wave back. <laughs> I said, the coast is clear, Chip. The co he was like, I didn't know to look above. I, I, the coast is clear on the ground floor, not on the, on the fifth floor balcony. Oh, you both got got. Oh, God. It, I mean, like, I sat there at the bar at, at Hillstones and just, I was so embarrassed. So <laughs> I've never been caught with a wedgie that bad. And then to the point where we went bowling that night uh -huh. and uh, his name is Kale. Uh, he's cool and he's from south africa he's very cool cool he was there and he's like oh we're bowling and I, whatever and i just <laughs> I, I just go up to him i go i know you saw me picking my wedgie chip <laughs> said the coast was clear and he could not stop laughing he like you could tell you he was like are it. we supposed to not pretend i didn't see you fisting yourself <laughs> Good for you. You confronted it. You got ahead of it. Right out of the gate. I was like, I know you know. <laughs> I I know what you saw, okay? And I need you to know that I know that you saw That's it. That's not who I am as a person. <laughs> I said, Chip said that it was clear. I said, freshly watched jumpsuit. So anyway, I just, it's so funny. Wedgies are just one of those things that everyone gets. Yeah. A great equalizer. Very um, humbling. But like there's no chill way to pick it out not at all no one's made a gadget no because that would just indicate what you're up to <laughs> like a little, little claw hand that you got in there with. I mean, like he knows my technique what do you do they do the pointer finger? yeah know? it's different with a thong versus you know a regular panty it was a rough well, so it was a rough go just imagining everyone else that you didn't know that just happened to be looking out of a window at that time <laughs> i love that you guys thought the coast was clear in a public parking lot surrounded by hotels well but we were behind the hotel okay. we were like going to the restaurant like past the dumpsters okay okay you know yeah. it was pretty private and then i'm like 
did he woo when he saw me pick or mm. did he start to woo realize i was picking the wedgie and he couldn't stop yeah so it's both of you in an awkward situation but it seems like you cleared it up and what a lovely first impression cleared it up threw away the panties because i just decided <laughs> they're not worth it if you yeah if you're gonna put me through that you're Fool a liability Fool me once. So anyway. Good for you. Yeah. Sounds like a fun trip. You posted a video Uh-oh. that I am like, I, I want to know about because I'm also like, it gave me anxiety mm-hmm. of you guys driving in a driverless car. Okay, here's the deal. What the fuck was that? Here's the deal. A couple of months ago, Chip was in Phoenix scouting the bars yeah. for Bar Rescue. And he sent me a video at night and it was as them like drunk coming home from the bar or whatever. And no one was in the driver's seat That's great. and i was like what is going on here and so i guess you know there's startup companies and i wonder i think phoenix must be like a beta city because meaning what meaning it like, does seem like that yeah. they don't seem very aggressive um <laughs> meaning in that like it's a place where this kind of company would go to test it out oh, okay you know what i mean like i yeah. feel like it's the first city that they're doing this maybe because like the roads are all flat or there's soft launch yeah there's not a lot of curves you know yeah Um, but so anyway terrifying so we go bowling after i've admitted the wedgie yeah (laughs) yes you made yourself incredibly vulnerable really vulnerable um having a good time meanwhile still wearing the underwear that's um i changed oh good for you yeah (laughs) you do take bowling seriously i do i changed into some cut off shorts that were looser and a a t-shirt of chips nice um but so anyway we're leaving and everyone's going and they have you know like passenger vans Mm because they ride together and i kept being like why are we just getting a ride from them why are we getting a ride chips like i already called an uber i'm like okay but what Uh and he's like oh we have to get the uber over there and i was like what is going on he's like yeah it's uh, not, they're not exact yet. And I was like, what? <gasps> so it's this company. I can't remember if it's called Waymo or Wago, but this car pulls up with like a thing on top of it that, you know, like Google Earth. Ma- yeah. Google yeah. Maps. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's clearly some type of satellite. Yeah. And the door opens oh and Chip's like, let's get in. That's horrifying. Horrifying. You know what's horrifying? I clicked on one coupon and now uh, this afternoon, and now I've gotten four calls from Laser away. <laughs> <laughs> they, they are getting you they know you clicked I saw, and they're not gonna rest until they talk to you about it i mean i saw one push ad on instagram story that was like this week only 70 percent off botox i was like let Whoa. me look at this place i've never gone here before yeah. three three or four calls it's like what every reality show person goes to laser away i feel like the same with like how they all have deals with revolve i feel like they all have deals with laser away Med spas yeah um okay so anyway so this car pulls up and i'm like no 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 no. yeah oh. that's horrifying i was like chip i don't want to he's like it's fun don't worry about it you know like convincing me and you get in this car which by the way i guess you can get in the driver's seat if you want okay um but you just get in there they're like hi and welcome to blah 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 like well you know basically giving you the rules as if you were on like an airplane okay but also being like if you'd like to connect to the music you can right now okay please buckle up and away we go it's like a disney ride if a ghost is driving a car yeah haunted mansion so the car just starts and we are just in the back of a car that is driving itself here's the thing too and maybe this i think it gave me more anxiety that like you could seal the wheel turning and yeah, everything. Yeah, because, it's like a ghost driving. Yeah, because I understand having it because if I had been in my right mind or yeah. wasn't just being like, okay, let me experiencing this for the first time as is, I would be like, guys, I'm the one who gets in the driver's seat because like if I need to take over, I can. can yeah, 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 yeah. But so we're just both in the fucking back <laughs> and this thing is just like ghost dad just oh driving by itself and i mean chip is living it chip is yeah. relishing in my discomfort i feel like chip did post a video weeks ago of him mm-hmm. like really just jamming out in one of those cars <laughs> and i think i responded with the <gasps> emoji you know, a little tiny f- yeah. face with the <gasps> oh yeah, no yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the tiny shocked mouth yeah. like tiny oh. mouth but shocked yes <laughs> um yeah so i'm just pretty much for the whole next 15 minutes it was a 15 minute drive too i was like babe we should have tried this when we had to go a mile yeah yeah, for me to be this uncomfortable i was (laughs) 
I was just like, I hate this. I hate this. I hate how happy you are. I, I mean, I was like, I was a nightmare. And Chip is just dancing, right? He's just yeah. having a good time. Like we pull up to a stop sign and I see him roll down the window. I'm like, you're hoping the guy besides us recognizes that we've got a ghost driver. You know? like, he's living for it, right? Yeah. And, uh, and then even I took a video of it. We tried to connect his phone to it and we couldn't do it. Um, and then I knew it. I was like, I'm going to post this. And I bet the first thing Chip says is, I wish I'd been dancing to a cooler song, which is exactly <laughs> what I said. Grace, it was so, so, so surreal. Yeah, it's that like I'd have to be a bit drunk to yes. attempt it. My anxiety would be just watching your video mm-hmm. was anxiety inducing. Well, for me, I just don't understand. Like, I'm not condoning these things because i know they got a ways to go like yeah. this i uh, this is not my vibe i did it you know <laughs> but i'm also kind of like what is the exact point mm-hmm. because besides i understand there's like the safety of like sometimes there are drivers working for companies that are not good people yeah, and yeah. what have you and it drove really safe it went the speed limit it okay. went not for me i was more worried about like but this car doesn't have reflexes. Right. So if someone barrels through a stop sign. Right, right, right. And or like I a, would have seen. Yeah. Will they be like sensors? Someone went crazy. I assume that they do. I assume like even my car has sensors mm-hmm. that like it'll jerk my car if like someone in front of me has like stopped too quickly or something. So I, I don't know. But I still like I'm just a cynic. So like I, I would be like is this the most updated software version are there bugs will this glitch Uh i don't know maybe i can tolerate awkward uber conversation over whatever this is well that's what i was gonna say is it clearly would take away jobs yeah i'm kind of like is the whole point of this so that you just don't have to talk to anyone and don't have to breathe their germs and or like human error isn't going right. to happen. Like the computer's always going to know the right well, way to it's go. Pro- it's probably a company just making more money that they don't have yeah. to pay their drivers as much as a living wage, you know, because yeah. now they have robots that'll do it for whatever. It was crazy. That's wild. Crazy. Uh, would you do it again? Mm, I. Mm. <laughs> Here's the thing. <laughs> Did it cost more than a regular Uber? That I don't know because okay. Chip got it. I don't think it did. Okay. Um, and we arrived safe, and you know, yeah. like people were hanging out outside the hotel, and we get to pull up in the ghost <laughs> in the ghost car, um, and it got there fast. They're everywhere. They are. Okay. There's, there, there's a fleet. Wow. So like wow. it got to us in like less than five minutes, and we were on a random side of town. Wow. With the busy fall season already in swing, you might be looking for wholesome, convenient meals for jam-packed days. Factor. America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit can help you fuel up fast for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with chef-prepared, dietitian approved ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time, eat well, and stay on track with your healthy lifestyle. With Factor, skip the extra trip to the grocery store and the chopping, the prepping, the cleaning up too, while still getting flavor and nutritional quality you need. Factor's fresh, never-frozen meals are ready in just two minutes so all you have to do is heat and enjoy and then get back to crushing whatever goals you got on your goal list choose from 35 plus weekly flavor packed fresh never frozen meals that promote a healthy lifestyle and meet your meal preferences all ready to eat in two minutes we got meals like cranberry pecan chicken and apple dijon pork chops ready in guess what two minutes it'll satisfy all your fall cravings during the busy season without the hassle you can get lunch to go effortless wholesome meals like grain bowls and salad toppers that are ready to eat when you're on the go no microwave required you can try dietitian approved calorie smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving or you can try protein plus meals with 30 grams of protein or more per serving and with factor you can rest assured that you're making a sustainable choice they offset 100 percent of their delivery emissions source 100 percent renewable electricity for their production sites and offices this october get factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh flavor packed meals delivered to your door ready in how many minutes two minutes no prep no mess head to factormeals.com slash tmgw50 and use code tmgw50 to get 50 percent off y'all know that i 
am in the season of easy to eat meals and Factor is delicious. So go, go, code TMGW50 at factormeals.com slash TMGW50 to get 50% off. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. So have you ever had those times where like, you know what you should be doing, but you just can't get your brain to do it? It's like your brain is getting in your own way. You know, you should do something, what's actually good for you, but you just can't motivate. Well, therapy is a wonderful way to help you figure out what's holding you back so you can work for yourself instead of against yourself. For example, therapy is so helpful for learning positive coping skills and how to set boundaries. It empowers you to be the best version of yourself. I know some people think, well, I'm not going through a massive traumatic experience. I don't need therapy. It's not just for major life altering events and how to deal with them it's great for everybody it can help in every aspect of your life so if you're thinking of starting therapy give better help a try it's entirely online designed to be convenient flexible and suited to your schedule you don't have to get in a car you can do it whenever just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge make your brain your friend with better help visit betterhelp.com slash tmgw today to get 10 percent off your first month. That's BetterHelp. H-E-L-P dot com slash T-M-G-W. Wow. I mean, it's wild. I just don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how I feel about AI in general. I'm very nervous oh, about of course. it. Did you see that video that Hank posted of AI writing a script of a Vlogbrothers video for no. him? It's wild how like okay the script really? was. And that, yeah, his whole, I think it was on TikTok, maybe Instagram too. His whole concern is like, this is going to generate a bazillion more mediocre content for everyone. Oh, absolutely. And make it extra impossible for anyone to like make, to break out online. Totally. Or- well, I know they're using uh, AI a lot for like middle of the road books. They'll just like, they'll like just write like romance novels and stuff. And like, it doesn't matter because a lot of them have like typos and are dumb anyway. Uh, But, um, uh, oh, I, I remember a few years ago when like AI was a thing or chat Mm -hmm. GP or whatever it is. GPT. Elliot uses it all the time. Well, I remember people sending me, you deserve a drink scripts (gasps) and they were like, Welcome to you deserve a drink. Or it'll be like, welcome to you get a drink. This is Mamrie Hart. <laughs> oh, wow. I like sex. Like, <laughs> she was just like, oh, today we're making a, a rum and coke. All you need is rum and a butthole. Yeah. Like, like, it was, just it was like, in a beta version. Yeah. I, I should have done a video sticking to that script. You can now. They make these scripts now. It's fascinating and a bit terrifying. I'm not sure exactly how to feel about it. Mm-hmm. Um, we watched Beetlejuice for the very first time over the weekend. You, neither of you have seen Beetlejuice? Neither of us, we realized. I thought maybe I had seen it and then it started and I definitely had not seen it. It's a masterpiece. It was amazing. It yeah. was so, we were perfectly high. So it was like the most creative movie I've ever seen. The sexual harassment stuff didn't age well. Oh, Beetlejuice, yeah. bit of a handsy guy. Beetlejuice is is a scamp. Bit of a handsy boy yep. um, for a bit. But outside of that, it was so creative and so yes. like creepy, interesting. Mm-hmm. I couldn't believe it. Both of us, I would just say, I was like, this movie's incredible. So, this movie's so crazy. Let me ask you. Before you watch the movie, if someone had said, Grace, what's the plot of Beetlejuice? What would you have thought it was? I think I got it confused. There's a movie called like Fred or not Fred. I know. Instagram. No, I know what you're talking about. Freddy. Drop Dead Fred. Drop Dead Fred. Yeah. That a a couple girlfriends showed me that they were obsessed with in high school and they showed me and I was like, oh, this is cool. But I was such not a movie person Mm. that I don't think I appreciate it. But I always conflated that. I think with Beetlejuice you know Drop Dead Fred is the only movie I remember from my childhood like my mom walking out on really see and I don't even remember the premise of that movie I don't remember it at all I think it like a weirdo like dead weird guy came back and helped a child do something I don't know something like that and that's what I thought this was I thought okay I know it's got Mm. young Winona Ryder in it Beetlejuice must come back from the dead to help this kid with something 
I don't know. I was conflating like Casper maybe and like oh, Matilda yeah. and like all of these just child movies. No, Beetlejuice is the absolute best. I love yeah. it so much. I have one of the... You Catherine know, the, O'Hara is great. The big Michael sandworm. Is amazing. The big sandworm, you know, the yeah. little stripe. You know, I have the huge blow up one for Halloween. Yeah. That decoration. Um, but... Was it, and Chip and I always want to be when they're in the waiting room and they stretch their face. There's Stop. a house around the corner from us that has all of those Halloween decorations and on it. it. And now I finally get it. You know, I'm actually surprised Elliot hadn't seen it since he loves Batman so much. Right. He kept uh, talking about Michael Keaton the whole time. Because Michael Keaton, it's like a... He couldn't, believe, he couldn't believe how good Michael Keaton it's was. It's a master class yeah. in physical comedy. It was like clowning. It was yeah. so, so great. And it just, I was... Like, I didn't even think about touching my phone the whole time. I was just like, wow. this is so fascinating. I literally do not know what's going to happen next. Young Alec Baldwin. Catherine Hottie. O'Hare. Yeah. I mean, Alec Talk Baldwin. Talk about clear skin. My God. That man's skin in that movie was oh. distractingly, like, youthful looking. Like, he's gross. And, uh, like, I think he, while well, I love 30 Rock and I love his yeah. work, I, he's, I don't think he might Shake be a good him. person. Yeah. And also, like, just the wife's accent and for you to double down and be like yes she is spanish but that said beetlejuice absolute grade a hottie yeah it so was, handsome it was an incredible movie i couldn't believe it i, I was like i gotta tell memory about this i can't believe <laughs> i'm 38 you're 36 and we're watching this for the first time as millennials do you remember what saying beans was beetlejuice for halloween like six years ago yeah the whole time elliot and i kept being like <laughs> we are crossing some like social threshold i'm so proud of you of, like understanding references <laughs> that we just sort of i guess pretended to understand that or you didn't even know someone was making a right. reference exactly i just knew that you say his name three times he shows up i love when he's little yeah yeah the all of it was great all <laughs> of it was so great i was so delighted by it we on the contrary we started the golden bachelor okay how do you feel i'm one episode behind are you I, emotionally wrecked or you oh, hate it oh we watched one episode yeah also i'm full of steroids right now so <laughs> it's part of me if i'm a little manic seeming so her energy <laughs> up and her dick is tiny yeah i uh we're doing round four tomorrow and they give me steroids the day before to make it the illusion that like we're gonna get through this we'll take anything grace <laughs> yeah but we watched one episode I was so emotionally uh -huh. distraught because the it wasn't even the episode was funny and the women were incredible. I was so delighted by uh -huh. all of these women. It was the trailer for the what's going to happen this season. And I was like, I can't watch, I don't think, a 60 or 70-year-old get their heart broken. When you watch a 30-year-old get their heart broken, you're like, they have their whole life to go to therapy and bounce back and have these incredible moments in their life. When they're in their 70s, and they're crying and getting their heart broken like a 30-year-old, it like It's a lot. Hurts. I watched it when I was in Palm Springs that yeah. night um like a week or two ago and I paused it when I started crying <laughs> to Instagram story about it and I was two minutes and 13 seconds in and I was crying oh my god yeah it's a lot but here's the th squealing I squealed the whole time but talking about you know like the women and, and getting the heart broken absolutely and I yeah. cannot even imagine for a second watching it if it was your own parent yeah you know um but it's also maybe some women who have kind of not been dating or right. thinking it was possibility. So this might just like reinvigorate their heart. That was one. I was nervous for their health because when they did the first rose ceremony and it was daylight outside, I was like, these women are up way past their bedtime. Well, hold on. When you the second episode, spoiler, but like, you know how they all cut to a little clip at, over the credits. Yeah. The woman who gets sent home that week goes, y'all need to have these in chairs. <laughs> yeah, she was like I we know. do yoga in chairs we do this in chairs <laughs> why aren't we doing these rows we got 70 year old women in here we need to be doing rose ceremonies in chairs she I, killed me i know i was like these women have been up and drinking and you know just just maintaining a full glam is exhausting mm -hmm. and they're all doing that and i was like i am genuinely worried about their health uh that they are sacrificing for the sake of reality show and i just like he loved the guy love him gary? too i don't uh, is that his name gary gary i, I don't his voice is comedically cartoonish he is so sweet uh, someone he sounds like a sesame street character yeah and i love it it's a little throaty yeah but someone tweeted love gary is it gary yeah they were like i love gary so much i don't want to see his voting record 
but <laughs> I adore, you know, like I don't want to know that he is a Republican. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But he is such a sweetheart. Yeah. And for him to like, even on the second rose ceremony, he said to the woman who leaves, he's like, I love you to death. Yeah. I love you. I don't have that nervous feeling that he's going to say something problematic. Or like cheat on someone. Like, I right. feel like he's going to be honest to a fault. He's going to get his heart broken. I'm worried I think for so too. his like physical and mental resilience through this process. I'm watching the trailer and he's genuinely in it and concerned about these women. And mm-hmm. this is not a system that was set up to be easy for anyone. I can't wait. I'm down. <laughs> I'm back an episode and I'm going to watch it tonight. I'm so excited. Yeah, um, I know. We got. I got to get back into it. We watched the first well, one and then it was just like, oh, OK. But here's my question, because I watched the second one. Yeah, I think it was. And it was only an hour. OK. And I was like, wait, <gasps> Is the Golden Bachelor going to be just an hour instead of two? Thank God. Because that's why I fell off on the regular Bachelor Bachelorette. Too long. Because it was just such a time commitment. Yeah. So if it's just an hour, that's beautiful. Plus, these people need to nap. Exactly. They need some days off. I do love, and I've seen some clips that are killing me, is you know the one contestant that looks like like a mobster Chris Chris Jenner? Yeah. And And the the other other one one, that looks like Caitlyn Jenner? Yeah. Yeah. In the next episode... The Chris Jenner is doing right. the hair. I've for seen the, the clip. Caitlyn Jenner. I've seen the clip. I think Kelly Oxford oh. put on her being like, I got to put this on the timeline. Uh, fake Chris Jenner. And fake it's like Caitlyn alternate Jenner. universe if they did stay together. Yeah. And it. Oh, my God. Yeah. That there's a lot of there's a lot of <laughs> stuff going on. But also, but also the one that looks like Caitlyn Jenner was like, oh, man, I just wish I, I wish I could be like we could be together, you know, yeah. like joking around. And she's like, oh, yeah, you want my rose? And she was like, well, except that I've got a first rose seat to your gas. <laughs> I thought you will not stop passing gas. I'm like, oh, these women. I love I them. I love them. I love them. There's so many like Philly or Jersey sounding yes. accents, it feels like, which is just so fun. Uh, I thought she looked like Rudy Giuliani for a second oh. until someone called out Caitlyn Jenner. And then I was like, oh, that's what totally it is. she's funny. Oh, but speaking of The Bachelor. Yeah. Franchise. Yeah. And health. Yes. So I did a TikTok when I first joined TikTok when two years ago, whatever. Okay. And it has come true. Hmm. There is a contestant on Bachelor in Paradise, which I no longer watch. Oh, that's happening. Yeah, I forgot about that. That chose to leave Paradise because she hadn't shit in 19 days. <laughs> that as someone that's recently recovered from a serious stomach issue yeah. is very serious i did a tiktok like <gasps> it was maybe my like fourth or fifth one that was like i'm so happy to get the rose while lobbying like but i haven't shit in like eight days like <laughs> i they said they'd have vegetarian options but i've just been eating cheese quesadillas and oh wells my- keeps giving me pina coladas and like i need to use the bathroom oh my god someone legit that would happen to me in two seconds you uh-huh. know how my butthole doesn't have a passport uh, yeah 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 mm-hmm. yeah yeah you lock up Many a PA on Hey USA were asked to go grab a quick laxative before we were filming. <laughs> Many a PA. It was a, but hey, it ha- hey, I'm still recovering from stomach issues. Yeah, so you are. I get it. That shit is literally not something to take lightly. Mm-hmm. But wow, that's what I'm concerned about. These women putting themselves through it for the sake oh, of this reality program. That'll be great. I'm sure they're like kids gloving producing them. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, I hope so. So many of these go, well, they just fed us alcohol and they never right. gave us food. These women aren't going to put up with that. Yeah, I think they have a bit more integrity. Mm-hmm. And I do think, I hope that the producers at least feel worse about putting them in more precarious situations than they normally would a younger Absolutely. person. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, speaking of, hmm. love is blind. Oh, I burned, I was just telling you before we started, I burned through that in 24 hours because I was so desperate to see what Twitter was saying about these people without getting spoiled. Mm-hmm. And wow, thoughts. Well, I would say it's the least <laughs> successful season yet. <laughs> this season is proof that this experiment no longer works, maybe. Well, uh, it's proof to me that anyone can work since Nick and Vanessa Lachey still have a job after last season's live yeah. finale. Well, what, They're terrible. What was happening... Sorry, I like I'm such a bitch on this episode. <laughs> no, no, no. We just have opinions about reality program, and it's okay. Um, the people were tweeting out last season because some producer tweeted out like a screenshot of them behind 
you know, the equipment recording interviews being like season five before season four had even done the reunion. And oh. so they were like batch back to back shooting these seasons, supposedly. And everyone on Twitter was like, please don't do this. Please wait and listen to our feedback and then shoot a new season because mm -hmm. As this season is rolling out, season four, we have notes. And like, so they've just been like back to back shooting. I think the minute two people knew each other in the experiment, sorry, spoilers for anyone that hasn't if you watched haven't, it. Look, they did the kind of like slow rollout of a couple episodes a week for the last month. So if you've okay. not, if you haven't watched Love is Blind, close your ears or just deal with the spoiler but also yeah. you'll still enjoy it even if you have a spoiler you'll enjoy it that's okay. like episode two spoilers ahead i'm going to be saying things about this season so okay. you can tune out now if you need to um i think the minute two people know each other they both get ejected from the experiment but there were already feelings involved i don't know yeah. look i thought it was bad news bears and i've actually flip-flopped back and forth because i was totally like oh lydia is a crazy person and stalked him and then after this the way that uche has yeah. displayed himself and how she talked at the reunion yeah. i'm like oh maybe she just legitimately liked this guy and they talked about it for two minutes and she was like oh i i applied too right you know? uh, yeah, I can see that. I, I think they're both at fault but for certain ways they handled themselves in this situation. And that Aaliyah oh, really God got her. I think, you know, people are tweeting like everything happens for a reason. And she really dodged a lot of things and things worked out the way they were supposed to for her. Mm -hmm. But uh, she still has trauma from this whole experience. That was not fair to her. Uche, I wanted to crawl through the screen and <laughs> strangle him I the know. way he was talking to her. I know. I was like, how are producers not getting involved? She's being like emotionally abused right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. It was crazy. It was too much. Uh, yeah. And, and and I'm thinking this is what they're showing us. What parts of this have been edited out? Mm. You know, like they already went through that whole situation, I think, with Shake of being like, oh, this guy like cannot get his foot out of his mouth. Truly. And we're letting we're giving him a platform to say these things. What if we had a love is blind of older people? Because yeah. or like, you know, like, like love is partially blind. I bet a lot <laughs> we of we need these, readers. I think if the Golden Bachelor is successful, a lot of these programs yeah. are going to do. Can you imagine naked attractions? <laughs> what that show's called yes it is <laughs> with an older one no i think love is blind with an older yeah. group would be fantastic i would love i mean they'd have such endearing conversations i'm sure i only want to watch senior citizen tv now yeah yeah also everyone wants to know what izzy's credit score is <gasps> how <laughs> bad does your credit score have to be for someone to say no to you at the altar i know it's got something came up that must have been real bad i mean what did he do i don't know it's also like the show loses me a little bit when what's who is the girl that he was with stacy yeah when she you like i don't know she knows that she's controlling her narrative mm -hmm. like now it feels like it's not actually part of the like she's going through all the performative hair and makeup stuff knowing that she's going to be like right. no i'm not going to do this and i'm going to look fine on camera and i'm gonna walk away with literally everything i want out of this situation <laughs> mm. i have but, no opinion on her i think she's all of them are annoying man except Aaliyah. the way uh, they blew up at each other i did not like that i thought some of the tact of how they handled uh each themselves at that party was not good strange yeah all right you guys know that at this current season of my life i am very much about my bed and I gotta say, I am in love with the Buffy Breeze sheet set. Oh my goodness. I'm very particular about what I'm sleeping on because I'm in my bed way more than I've ever been in my entire life. And Buffy has the Earth's softest bedding. The Breeze sheet set is the softest sheets you'll ever try. It's woven from eucalyptus, making it softer than cotton or linen, and you'll sleep cooler, which is great for me because sometimes I sweat in my sleep now. Lots of things going on with the Helbig body lately. Fabric is made from eucalyptus. It's naturally cool to the touch. It's researched back to be more breathable than cotton or linen and perfect for hot sleepers like me. 
It's with natural botanic dyes that are skin safe and better for the planet, and they are awarded and recognized. Buffy products are consistently on the best of lists. Architectural Digest and Glamour named the Buffy Breeze Sheet set the best bed sheets of 2023. Yeah, and if you want to see for yourself why Buffy has over 50,000 five-star reviews, <laughs> try them out. Shipping is free. And if you don't love your Buffy sheets, there's a 50-night return policy. You have 50 nights to sweat all over those things and return them. Uh, the policy is on all orders with free shipping on returns and no return fees. Amazing. If you're interested, upgrade your bedding with the Breeze Sheet Set by Buffy. Go to Buffy.co, B-U-F-F-Y dot C-O, and use code T-M-G-W for 25% off your first order. That's Buffy.co, promo code T-M-G-W for 25% off. Grace, I just got a follow-up text from Laser Away. What do they want this now? This is now four... <laughs> Four calls and two texts, which, by the way, I reported the first one as junk doing They're their job. They're not going to stop said, until you're dolphin said, smooth. Hey, it's Jeannie, the treatment specialist at Laser Away. Why don't you treat yourself now and pay after? <laughs> what treatment are you interested in? Guys, guys, this is not okay. You're stalking me at this point. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah. Aggressive. But maybe that's what works. Oh, my God. This was just a little cute thing. Was... The hotel that Chip is staying at has like really long, like a big open area. And so the hallways are all kind of like exposed to the lobby. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and they're very long and carpeted. So Larry and Beans, love. Hey, insane. Loved it? Love. I mean, yeah. they love a carpeted hallway. But then like Larry will go so hardcore. He just goes back and forth like 50 times while Beans is still doot, doot, doot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had them by myself yesterday and Larry's going wild. Just uh, hilarious. Hilarious. <laughs> going crazy. Beans is right behind me because uh, I have to like kind of convince her to keep going. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, Beans is really slowing down. I look back. Beans isn't there. Oh, no. And I'm thinking, did Beans just jump off a fifth floor balcony? <laughs> did she? Oh, no. Oh, no. Terrified. Like, I can see the entire 30, 40 yard hallway. Yeah. There is no Beans to be found. Oh, my I'm like, did an elevator open? <laughs> what the fuck? And Beans got the elevator. Someone scooped her in the room? I'm so terrified. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. Meanwhile, Larry's just... <laughs> so I'm like, Larry, come here, come here, come here, come here. So then I'm walking, I'm like speed walking, and my heart is racing. And then there's just a clean room whose door is open, and I look in and Beans is in there, right? <laughs> but I don't know if there's not someone there or if someone just checked in and yeah. they're like going back downstairs to get their bags. Yeah. I'm like, Beans, get over here, get over here, get over here. Within two seconds, Larry has ran past me and he's just rolling on the bed. <laughs> And so I'm at, I entered this hotel room going, I'm so sorry. My dogs are in here. My dogs are in here. Oh and I had to like God. chase them around the room, <laughs> scoop them up and leave. It Amazing. killed me. They I, love a clean room. They love a clean room. But I was just like between that and the ghost car <laughs> and the wedgie. It was a rough 24 hours. Arizona is strange. Strange things happen in Arizona. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, my God. Uh, what else is on my list? Oh, Michelle Williams narrating Britney Spears' memoir. I saw. Unexpected. Interesting. I know. And it comes out soon. I think in like a week or something. Are you going to read it? Are you going to listen to it? Or are you just going to see what people say? Probably see what people say. Uh, there's been, I mean, I feel like I was on E! Online earlier trying to just see. There's what's nothing. Up. It's all just bits of her memoir of like pieces from it that they're like teasing. No, E! Online, uh, look, we never did a proper ceremony to say goodbye to d-list i know i know this is where do you guys all get your information we need some hot goss <laughs> where do you, where do you go, go to find out like what's going on yeah like what's the, <laughs> where are the raggedy like former like I, page six type of things i still go try buzzfeed every week but their oh. whole site is just like six crazy tweets that women did this week that we can't believe women did or like wow plumbers weigh in on the craziest thing they took out of a toilet and it's just them like repurposing reddit posts it's just like the top chiropractors tell us what they thought of this season's the crown that's literally what it is <laughs> or it's like tell me which cupcake you'd put up your butt and i'll tell you what color suits you best to wear in the fall and you tell me your Chick-fil-A order and I'll tell you if you should slap your mother in law. That's exactly what it was. Um, but every week I go back. You go back. See, for something different. I, I'm so sad that D-Listed stopped 
operating uh, i was like do you need me to like donate to it like a patreon like yeah. let's keep this hilarious site going but so i'll go on e online and truly it is kardashian crumbs yeah like i do not care about the moment you felt like a family with travis and yep. i do uh, i do kind of have intrigue about the chalamet kylie jenner relationship <laughs> but we're not getting any new info yeah they have an entire um like horizontal i don't know like gallery dedicated to taylor and travis like oh. every new piece of information about their relationship and then another horizontal bar that's all kardashians and that's like have you worn your travis kelsey jersey we got that's, you yet um, i i'm doing a little bit of vlogging this week and Ooh. i mentioned it in that video but i haven't said it here that memory ga- gifted me for my birthday a travis kelsey jersey that was all, all chip oh, chip so found great. it chip was like texting our friend nick who actually knows about football to be like <laughs> which material is better and softer yeah oh it's so great and especially that was like on the heels of me being like did you know jersey sales are up 400 <laughs> percent because of <laughs> he got Taylor? i love it i haven't worn it yet but i will i just went on abercrombie and bought like what? three different um eagles sweatshirts because they have all these hey uh wait they have merch uh heads up abercrombie's got great nfl merch right Whoa! now like every team yeah, they got some merch. They've been surprising me, especially with their sweatshirts. I've been a big Abercrombie <laughs> fan. Surprising me. I don't think I've bought anything from Abercrombie since I was in high school. And by that, I mean stolen. No, exactly. This last year, I saw wow. like fashion girlies talking about Abercrombie on Instagram. It's back. So is American Eagle, I think. Yeah. And this one, they have like vintage looking uh, mm-hmm. NFL sweatshirts. See, the thing is about Abercrombie. Mm-hmm. And trust and believe. We talked about it. I saw the documentary. They did bad shit they back did bad in the shit. day. But like we talked about a couple weeks ago on here how prep preppy I was because you're, yeah. you're in your J. Crew but in our public face. And I was like, Not oh, today. <laughs> I was like, oh, honey, like I was such a prep. Yeah. At the beginning of high school. But I still just even then I found it crazy how naked they were on the bags. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That they had no clothes in their ads. Yeah, and everything was so expensive and everything smelled a certain way. I was (laughs) uh, end of high school, no, college-ish. I was very New York and company. Like, get me ready for a job interview. What? Here's a sensible button down and some gray slacks. New York and co. Because I would get big uh, coupons that are like 30% off your whole in-store purchase. And I would go and live my fantasy, I have a temp job, <laughs> like I dreams. Tr- <laughs> I truly thought New York and co was like only for women in their yeah. 30s back yeah. then. I was aging up. I Did was... you wear shoulder pads? No, there were no shoulder pads, just <laughs> lots of sensible button downs. Lots. Oh, okay. My job, I had an office job before uh, Hillstone. And <laughs> we're, we're getting the whole, yeah. the whole resume today. Also, I had like five internships in undergrad. So I yeah. would try to stockpile like professional looking you clothing. You needed button downs. I love seeing yeah. those things from like the, the late 2000s where it'll be like, this is what we thought was a cute outfit. And it'll be like a pencil skirt <laughs> with a button down, hair in a knot, infinity scarf yeah, and yeah. like <laughs> and like ballet sl- like slides. It'll yes. be like, what in the 60 year old uh-huh. secretary was my style yeah i have no a peplum I, so many peplums so, yeah you went through a big peplum thing <laughs> i went through a big i always wore men's button down shirts and leggings and uggs that honestly was, that would be my ideal outfit tomorrow yeah that feels I, very fall it's that's come back around a bit uh, mm-hmm. which has been lucky but yeah some of the like what people wear now gen z you guys look so cool and i don't think you're ever gonna look back and be like embarrassed i think that's the difference mm. is that I feel like they're so comfortable in themselves authentically at such a younger age. This is my hypothesis. Yeah, maybe. That they're not going to look back and be like, what the fuck was I thinking? Well, on Sunday, Chip and I took the pups to uh, a bar in Phoenix called Boondocks. Fun. And as soon as we got there, I was like, we are in college. This Mm -hmm. is, this is, you know, it was Mm -hmm. like a big, of course I was like, Jesus Christ, this place. And Chip's like, I told you to help me find a dog friendly (laughs) bar, but I had to do it all. So this is what we're stuck with. (laughs) So anyway, so we're sitting there having like, you know, a terrible gin and tonic in like a clear Dixie cup. Yep, yep, yep. And everyone around us, it was just so crazy because every waitress that came up or whatnot, no, no shame. I'm not shading people, but everyone was in like Lululemon, a sports bra 
was like 22 with a boob job. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but that's like, that, that's like love is blind. Yeah. I felt like one, wow, everyone looks young to me on this show. And everyone's in workout gear. Everyone's in two pieces. Yes. Like I, full bellies out, which that's why I'm like, they're so comfortable in their own skin well, I in said, a way that I've never felt my entire right. life. <laughs> I said to Chip, I was like, you know, what? I never got the early 20s. It's cool to wear like basically workout pants yeah. out. It's all for me. I've only been the age where that's sad. Well, <laughs> and also dangerous. Like, oh, walking around New York City, you know, like I feel like when oh. I was in my early 20s walking around New York City, the amount that I just like blocked out of like cat mm. calls and like shit said to me just under people's breath as I walk by is like insane. Not me. And I was just rocking peplums. <laughs> And still, I'm gonna be like rocking peplums in a top knot. I'm like, oh, you mean how I do my hair every day? Yeah, yeah. peplums oh, are great. Um, yeah, that's my list this week. That no, look, the fact is, everyone listening right now, if you're listening to this on Wednesday, send yeah. Grace Helbig all the posy vibes because she's yeah. got another round of chemo tomorrow that she's yeah. gonna kick its ass. Also, send me sound bites that I can lip dub to when I'm in the chemo chair. <laughs> what? Because I've been trying to think of content. Well, you know, because it's been more fun, I think. Yeah. And I've been trying to go through TikTok looking for like fun, funny uh, sounds. And you, and I, it's just so daunting. Hold on. This is my new favorite one. How do you find them? <laughs> I think you just have to kind of go into the explore just keep page. Scrolling, keep scrolling, 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 scrolling. Scroll, scroll. Oh, where is this damn sound by I love where the guy. Oh, let's see. I think this is it. I'm like, this is me so much. This is a waste of time. We could have been in a bar, having a nice cocktail. <laughs> yeah, so that's like a dog in nature being like, this is a waste of time. It's great. I don't know where it's from, but that's my new favorite one. Yeah, I love that. I'll um, find you some. Yeah, for, and, uh, yeah, I'll be looking. I don't know. Tomorrow's going to be, I'm excited. We're counting down now. Four, five, six. So uh, off we go and it's knock on wood been fantastic to feel i'm still recovering but to feel way better yeah. than i did a few weeks ago so uh it's going well are you do you have any plans tomorrow to become closer with the nurses N uh, last time on yeah. my birthday i did bring them cookies i know so you need to lip dub with one of them I, that's too much i think you think so I feel, you think they're busy saving lives I, yeah i feel like that's a little bit <laughs> the area of desperate that i don't want them to <laughs> see me as um <laughs> i need to talk to them more about making sure they're not giving me the medication that gives me diarrhea versus yeah, yeah, being yeah. Like, can we lift up to this harry potter <laughs> remix real quick <laughs> oh yeah no, no. And I just what see the nurses. Mean? Yeah, I've listen. Have thought about that this <laughs> afternoon. Could I? Could you do it? I've already texted Elliot saying we should lift up to this when I'm in the chair tomorrow, and he just wrote back, um, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a no. <laughs> so, Look, Elliot has his corner of the internet. I was yeah. scrolling today and got fed an ad from the San Antonio Zoo of some type of creature <laughs> going off on some kale. And I, lo and I look down and I go, oh, well, if it isn't liked by Elliot yeah. Morgan. He follows a lot of animals and zoos <laughs> on Instagram. And I was telling you earlier, we got high the other night and realized that the San Diego Zoo does live cams of their animals. <gasps> and we were just like, click, 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 click. But we started watching at like 8 p.m. All the live cams go off at 7.30, most of them. Them, and all the other ones, the animals weren't even in view or sleeping. They don't even have them on the nocturnals. Uh, they have some it on, night vision. They do have it on some. Like the platypus had it live, but it was nowhere to be found because that guy's sleeping somewhere oh, off wow. camera. But we have not watched since during the day because we got high and forgot about it. Do but we, we were very, very excited that that was a possibility okay. that we didn't think about. I like this. Yeah. Also, platypus. I'm gonna I'm gonna workshop it as a drag name. Yes. <laughs> You want this plaid of a, a, a puss? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it can work. Anyway, well. Oh, I got to go take a nap. I got to go. go. Yeah. Uh, these Your roids are the, wearing The down. steroids have the side effect of insomnia, <laughs> and I need to go home and start fighting against I, that. I don't want a night vision cam on you tonight. I know, I know. <laughs> okay. It's going to be me wide awake staring at the ceiling while Elliot's knocked out. Oh, uh, well, this got weird. Yep. Yeah.